Okay, hi everyone. It's Ash from KRM. Jambo nyote niasha oku KRM. And I want to talk to everyone about back to school. Na nataka muonge kwa kusu kuruti kwa masomo kwa watoto. Okay, so school is going to start back soon and classes will be five days a week. Masomo tunataka turuti kwa masomo tena na watoto utakua na soma siku tanu kwa juma. Two days will be actually in the school building and three days will be at home on the computer. Siku mbili watoto utakua na somea kwa masomo. Lakini yengine siku tatu wanasomea nyumbani online. And as usual, there will be no classes on Saturday and Sunday. Kama kawaida, hakuna masomo siku ya posho na siku ya mongo. Spring break is also coming up, March 29th to April 2nd, and there will be no school. Na konje ya spring, iko na kuja, itaanza, mwezi uyi wa tatu, tare makume bili na nane, na kenda, mpaka tare bili ya mwezi wa ine. Okay, so this is a copy of a school calendar. And we have many of them at KRM. If you need a copy, you're welcome to come get one, or you can take a picture of this one with your phone. If you have this calendar, you can see each month the days that there are, is no school in red. Uh, ukikuwa na hii kalendari, utaona siku ambayo watoto watenda kumasomo na siku ambayo hawa watenda kumasomo. The first thing is, for all of the students, students will be divided into group A and group B. Wanafunzi wote kwa ujumla, watumewa divize, tunawatia maparti mbili. Wamoya wako maparti, tunaita ni A, begini viko B. Okay, so students in group A, are students with last names from the letter A to K. Watoto wenye, wanafuzi wenye wako mugrupe ya A, ni watoto wambayo majina yao ile jina ya pili inaanza na A au mupaka ku K. And then group B are any students with last names starting with letter L through Z. Na grupe ile grupe B, Grupe ya pili, inanza kwa majina enye na malizika na letre L mpaka ku Z. Hapo doko enye, katikati, kama jina yako inamalizika na iyo, sadire woko mgrupe B. So if your name is Miriam Bikiombe, you would be in group A. Kama jina lako inanza ni Miriam Bikiombe, unasikia Bikiombe B ndo inanza. Sasa hivyo gisi inanza, and if your name is Deborah Zawadi, you will be in group B. Middle and high school students are going to start school in person after spring break. Watoto wenye wanasoma mwa masomo ya primere au mamiro na middle school and high school. Yes. Middle school na high school au masomo yenye naanza pamoja na masomo ya secondary. Wataanza kusomea wako masomo, watenda kumasomo nyuma ya konje ya spring. So anyone who's from 6th grade to 12th grade will start school April the 5th. Sadire mtoto mwenye yuko msomo la sita mpa kumina mbili. Uye mtoto ataenda, ataanza masomo, kuenda kumasomo nyuma ya konje ya break. Itakuwa ni mwezi ya ine, tareo tamu. Okay. And then for the other students who are in elementary school and preschool, they will be starting at the end of March. Watoto wenye wako mprimera uyo, au hii masomo ya kuwanza ya matoto badogo na mpaka kwa elementary school wanazielewa watoto wataanza hapo masomo hii masiku that now so yeah. in a normal week of school group A will go on Monday and Tuesday to school gisi uh, mitaendeka watu wenye watoto wenye wako mgroupe ya A batakuwa naenda kwa masomo siku ya kwanza na siku ya pili 
And then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Group A will study on their computers at home. Na hiyo Group A, siku ya tatu na siku ya ene na siku ya tanu, batakuwa nasomea kunyumba tu kukomputa online, ndo batakuwa nasomea. And then Group B will study Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at home on the computer. Sasa ile Group B, ile Group ya pidi, abo bata, batakuwa nasoma, siku ya kwanza, siku ya pidi, siku ya tatu, batasomea kunyumba. And then Thursday, Friday, they will study in school. But if you have students in one family that are in all different grades or in different um, schools between elementary and middle, it's really important to call KRM or the school. Kama uko na watoto mnyumba moya au wewe mzazi una watoto wanaenda kumasomo tofauti na wanaenda kwa ma mweko mu high school mwingine yuko mu middle school hivyo masomo ya, ya tofauti jaribu utelefone ku KRM KRM itakusaidia kuna mm -hmm. itakusaidia So if you have children uh, for example in elementary school with different last names um, it's important to call KRM or, or the school to see if we can have them go all together on the same days. Okay. Kama uko na mto na watoto wangapi? Wanazukani ni watoto wawili au watatu. Na wana majina ile majina yao mmoja iko mu group A, mwingine mu group B. Unaribu telefone KRM ikusaidie kama wote watawatia mu group moja. Okay. But in general, if your child um, is has a last name A through K, they will be group A. Lakini kwa ujumla kama mtoto wako, iko mo, ana ijinaiki na marizika na K, onasikia atakuwa mugrupe ya kwansi. Kama atakuwa mugrupe, ijinaiki na marizika na Z, techa au na M, yeye iko mugrupe B. Perfect. Um, and then if your child receives special education services, call KRM for your child's schedule. Kama mtoto wako yuko na soma ile kingereza, bebele kumusaidia jua ajua kingereza, unayuzu kwa telefone kere mta kusaidia. Okay, so just some important dates. So this is the only day that's a little bit different. Wednesday, March 17th, it's kindergarten to second grade group A. Ii ndio siku enye yuko tofauti kidogo, tare kumina saba ya mwezi, uh, yeah, e mwezi. So for this month, I think. Mm -hmm. Is this yep. month? Yeah. Tareko mina saba ya e mwezi, takwani siku ya ine. Ni watoto tu wambayo wa wananza masoma materne na kufika mo second grade. Ndo watenda kwa masoma. Okay, so that's the only difference in the schedule. Once we start going normally, like the 18th and 19th is normal group B days. And from then on, it will be the same schedule. Oh, from 19th? Uh, it would be normal. Yeah. So, so Wednesday, yeah. When like so, once it starts eighteen and nineteen, like that group B, that's the start of the normal A B switch. You see, okay. it's yeah. just that first Wednesday that's a little bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Na watoto mpaka second grade, ndo wataenda kumasoma. Afu tukianza ile juma ingine itakuwa ni tare kumina kenda, ndo sasa tutaanza bitu kawaita. And we know that this can be a lot of information for parents and children, but don't be stressed or worried. We are here to help you and we will all do it together. Musi kuwe na mastresi ya mingi, au visipachange sana, musi kuwe na mkonfizyo. Mukikuwa na kukonfizio mwleza muka telefone kukia remu bako pali juwa wa saidi. Okay. Um, so this is the schedule again. If you want to take a picture of it to remember um, which days your child will go in person and which days they will study at home. Uh, kama unataka kukamata foto, unaweza kamata foto ndo hii ya, ya kalendari. Hii ita wa saidi ya kujua. Uh, mtoto wako ataenda kumasomo siku fulani, hata enda siku fulani. Hapa uh, unaweza pika foto Okay, 
na katikati kwa hiyo majina ataenda kumasoma siku ya kwanza na siku ya pili alafu siku ya tatu na ya ina na ya tano atasomea kunyumba na kama mtoto wako ni L mpaka ku Z ni kama hizo tulikuwa tumewaambia siku ya kwanza na siku ya pili na siku ya tatu atasomea uh, kunyumba yenye alafu ataenda uh, kumasomo siku ya ina na siku ya tano okay yes. perfect so um, for right now the elementary schools are not requiring uniforms, but students cannot wear pajamas or sandals. Kwa sasa, watoto awata kwa nabeba uniforme kumasomo. Kama mtoto naeza kaenda bila uniforme ni sawa. Lakini tunamuomba avale kiato, asikuwa anavale sandale, au anavale kamambidi. Akuwa anavale kiato. And students what must wear a mask on the bus and at school. Na watoto wanapaswa kukuwa na anavala maske sawa nenda kumasomo. Okay. So it's really important for parents to know the name, address, and phone number of their school. Yeah, ni vizuri sana wazazi mkijua masomo, jina ya masomo, watoto wenu wanasomea eko, na adrese na nimero za telefoni. If you need help with this information, you can call KRM and we can help you find out. Kama unataka usaidizi kwa kujua hizo mainformasyo, unaweza kwa telefonia KRM, KRM ita kusaidia. For the school bus, it's really important to be early so you don't miss the bus. Ni vizuri sana, upeleke mtoto wako kubisi, umupeleke mapema mbele ya bisi ya haijaenda. And if your child is in elementary school in kindergarten, the parent must be at the bus stop to drop them off in the morning and to pick them up in the afternoon. Kama mtoto wako anasoma maternelle au masomo ya kwanza ya kido, ya watoto madogo unapasha mtoto unampeleka kubisi na unaenda tena kumchukua sabi na rudi. And students should be safe on the bus and sit in their seat and wear their mask. Watoto wanahitajiwa kuikala kwa viti vyao na wasipanda kubuje waende kwa vingine vingine na wanapasha wanavale mask. Thank you so much for listening to this back to school presentation. Asante sana kwa kukamata muda wa kusikia hii video. Uh, na kama una swali yoyote, unaweza kutelefonia kwa KRM, KRM itakusaidia kukupatia maelezo yote yenyewe unataka.